Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Coach Bruce at A Cup of Mo. I had a quick thought that just came to mind uh, this morning that I just, I just had to share with you. Look, the Bible says in Philippians, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. You know, there's a powerful thing in doing one thing right, one thing to the best of your ability, one thing with all your skills, talents, and abilities. This one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are before me. You see, when you focus on one thing, now focus means to follow one course until successful. You see, when you focus on that one thing and when you stretch forward, that allows you to stay on pace, to stay on target, to stay in your lane with reaching your goals and your dreams. And then it says in the next verse, it says, I press toward the mark. I'm not pressing toward every mark. I don't have to do everybody's thing. I'm just going to do my thing. I'm going to do what God blessed me to do. I want to do what God anointed and appointed me to do. I'm going to follow the path that God put me on. I press toward the mark, toward the prize of the high calling of Christ Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, your message today is stay focused. Don't be distracted. It's so easy for people to come into your life thinking that what they got going on is more important than what you were doing before they arrived. You know, I remember back in the day when I worked at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard, you know, we had a little sign that we would put on our desk. Should I rush the rush I was rushing or rush your rush when you rushed in? <laughs> It's so easy, ladies and gentlemen, to be distracted. Don't be distracted. Stay focused. Make a target. Aim at that one target. And hit it like never before. I mean, press, keep pushing, and keep pushing and pressing until you reach your dreams, your goals, what you have set out to do. Don't be distracted. Stay focused. We love you. Peace. Have a good day.